Hi guys, this is Emnal, and we are back playing Hearts of Iron 4 as Romania. I've taken most of the units that weren't doing anything useful and, well, send them to grab some land, uh, so I wasn't all that mm, meticulous, but yeah, it should, it should help a little bit. I have also sent uh, bits and like six divisions to China, to, to Manchuria. To, to, to help to grab this and if the <laughs> if the Japanese aren't willing so uh, yeah well hopefully they will attack soon enough but yeah that's doesn't look good in that department and uh, since as you can see Germans pulled out basically all of their units from this front line since it got separated from their or uh, from their mainland and they are still fighting here oddly enough but that's probably because this is uh, you know, still connected to this. I don't know. It's 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 weird, but yeah, they they definitely noped out of here. So we need some of the Soviet troops uh, decided. Okay, that's that's our time to shine and uh, are moving around, which is uh, troubling. So we need to uh, put uh, some more units here and there to to, to keep them occupied. All right. Um, I think it's time to unpause. Let's go. Okay, you, you are grabbing Yaroslav and then I guess you can cross the river and capture as much as uh, humanly possible of all those grassy terrain things around here. Since you are a tank division so you should be a fairly good at it. Well, pretty terrible at uh, going fast through the forest, so I swear to god I will lose some of those tank divisions for the shittiest reasons, but uh, whatever. Uh, well, we've captured even more military factories, and uh, let's see, what are we missing again? Uh, I guess light tanks, but that's... Oh, I'll just put them here. Anyway, uh, what do we need? We need more tanks then, and more steel, actually. Uh, we're buying... Uh, let's just buy two. And, uh, yeah, all oh, right, between the episodes I, I adjusted this, and I actually have to buy tanks then from British Raj, of all people. Um, because there's no more uh, available tanks than in... <coughs> in Russia. In... Uh, Wall of Cairo, okay, so they actually managed to take it. Uh, well, that's good. So, the Suez Canal should be open shortly. Uh, okay, uh, that being said, uh, where are those units I signed? Uh, you guys are going here. You guys are doing squat. And that's okay. Mm. Okay, let's do it differently. Let's select this order and see where those divisions are. Are they on their way? Are they? Where are they trying to embark? Really? Oh Jesus! Oh fuck it! Okay, they will get them in their venture. I, I really hope that the the Japanese will deal with that. Uh, well, more, more guns, I guess, and more artillery, so we can, I mean, well, we can add more anti-tanks, and this is actually, let's make it artillery. Oh, and, uh, alright, I think we are wasting research, so let's go with uh, artillery upgrade. Do more damage. Uh, so still haven't done the second... Uh, Oh, right, we haven't done the... Uh, we haven't started it, but uh, I think it was a conscious decision because, well, 260 days. Okay. Let's keep grabbing this. There we go. I guess we should grab that as well. 85. Mm. We've captured Gorky already. Oh. 
I don't care, let's just you know, drop something. Hmm. Yeah, this is devolving into, you know, doing fairly pointless stuff, so hopefully we'll get that uh, sorted out fairly quickly and finish this uh, uh, this play for me without it becoming a tiresome thing. Okay, they haven't taken uh, Kiev back from us, so that's good. This we still need to deal with, and definitely need to grab more of that. And somehow we had one division there. And this has gotten into German hands as well. Hmm. This, however, went to our hands. Ah, I, I will do the proper testing with, you know using a test game rather than this. Mm. Okay, let's send some units there because this seems <laughs> very, very dangerous for our poor, poor tank divisions. Uh, as then, I guess. Now imagine they will bump this to 90%. Ugh. Problem is, however, <laughs> like, that the way this whole thing is has been developed is that, uh, as you can see, you need to control uh, Moscow. That's why we haven't gotten it after, uh, like, uh, not before 1942, but in 1942 or beyond, right? So we just need to we'll just need to fast forward for, for one and a half years. So, but I'm not going to show that. I'll just. <laughs> And since we cannot, we will have uh, we will have uh, parts of uh, Poland and Soviet Union, Union out of the uh, peace deal, uh, peace conference after uh, Soviets uh, finally surrender. And uh, as for Czechoslovakia, we'll just need to uh, annex uh, Slovakia, uh, Slovakia, and that's it. But well, uh, as I mentioned. Uh, this uh, top bit means that uh, we need to have Carl the second as our uh, <clears throat> as our country leader and that's impossible right now so yeah bit of a shame and you guys should go there well I guess there was a fight and they got stopped I'm not sure uh, better fighters and of course now the uh, cavalry will become a problem. Okay, let's yeah, let's stop training them. I mean, and by cavalry will become a problem. I mean the uh, and the resistance. There we go. So, uh, increase trained allies. Uh, all right. So the whole uh, um, tank push actually uh, ended up working, but it's it take a while for them to break free from the uh, from the uh, you know uh, from the troops uh, that that they were surrounded by and. Uh, yeah, but it's much easier to to perform if you are not if you have some uh, motorized infantry to 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 fill the gaps because uh, and uh, perform those uh, additional attacks uh, for you. About yeah, as you can see, it's 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 quite doable with the, uh, with just standard infantry if you are in the bind. Go. Uh, how are the allies doing around here? Uh, well, still being pushed uh, back, but uh, only so slowly. 
Go. What are the losses of the Soviets? Yeah, over two million and rising. We lost, uh, yeah, well, most of all of us, but uh, still uh, within the bounds of reason. Uh, still quite a few divisions around here. All right, have we captured all of the bloody victory points? Uh, all right, we are still rushing for our Hungarian and stuff. And there are US divisions here for whatever reason. Uh, okay, just to be 100%. I mean, we could go for reserve divisions to, to fix manpower issues if they happen, but. Or we could uh, suppress the subjects to the next uh, Slovakia. Uh, just go this way, I guess. All right, we were supposed to switch uh, planes. Uh, let's update those. Uh, a little bit of ground attack on heart. All right. It is, oh, okay. So we need to cut on range and uh, get max speed a little bit. No, probably not. Okay. This lower speed, right? Uh, no, just agility. Two points. Well, we cannot pull that off. So uh, let's get a bit lower and uh, buff up the engines a little bit, uh, something like that. And uh, now we can switch uh, this to this. There we go. Oh, we can go on here, there we go. Okay, this is a sad state of affairs that we need to uh, march up and down of all the uh, <laughs> all of the Soviet Union to deal with that. But all right, ah, there we go. Mm, anything else, really? Or, uh, so those divisions that were supposed to, uh, you know, move to, all right, here they are. Really? Now you changed port to this? Let's get some assassination attempt. Come on, Japan, move your ass. It's not that difficult in...
and by becomes an issue I mean the the file that I'm actually producing right now will get corrupted. Yeah, all right, that should be uh, enough. Sorry about that. Where were we? Hmm. Yeah, they seem to. So th those are basically divisions that are coming from China. I need to stop them from uh, getting, uh, you know, from stopping me from getting Archangels. Uh, that's about it. And you guys can. I don't know. Go here and grab some of those territories. Go, and you are actually simply moving here to grab it. Oh. Interesting. There we go. And here we are. Oh, well, I could make a proper front line out of it, I guess, but, uh, you know, because I rushed for, for that, it really doesn't seem like a, like, a, like an option. Okay, so I could, for example, okay, let's send a few divisions here, or some, so you guys are vacant so let's send you here we'll cut through here uh, all the way to Kazai and then uh, try to make basically redeploy all the uh, infantry uh, for uh, for the uh, automatic order Radio, hooray! So we <laughs> we fought the whole bloody Second World War without radio. Uh, yeah, that, that's problematic. Especially if you are, you know, uh, like us. Play. Well, it's it's difficult if you need to 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 redeploy, uh, uh, attack from different angles, and uh, the. Uh, the front line shifts and so on and so forth. Right. Because uh, you know, reinforcing existing combats becomes uh, a major issue. Okay, so attacking here. Well, they seem to be rushing for our angles. Okay, grabbing one more here. One more months, not quite yet. Oh, oh. hopefully. Uh, no, doesn't look good. That uh, really doesn't look like without uh, Japan moving their ass, we won't. We simply won't be able to force the surrender fast enough. And this is three points in here. You guys go. There you go. Okay, well, at least we cleaned up most of it, but because uh, the problem is now the, the opposition is springing up. Uh, let's move there. Okay. Is this looking? Uh, still have they still have some organization, so let's uh, hold on. That. Uh, Let's march them all the way around. This, of course, cost us uh, greatly in attrition. But, well, what can you do? Go. Ok, 
Okay, I think this is going to be the, the last episode because this is not a prime entertainment, isn't it? So we'll just assume that I've actually won against the Soviet Union, I think, and yeah. <laughs> oh, we actually lost uh, probably like a fraction of a division that we've been sending. Okay, here are three of our divisions and another three here. Uh, yeah, it's, they are yet to capture bloody Suez Canal, that would sped things up. They've been able to just simply fur them through here, but not the case. Okay, so this uh, is an issue now. Alright, there we go. And you are just standing here. Mm, any other places where we can grab a victory point or two? Yes, they are. Okay, let's keep moving then. Yeah, we'll need to deal with being cut off in Kazan, I think. Okay, half of you move to Kazan. Uh, two of you just clean this up, and the rest of you can. Uh, moving around here, uh, fixing those holes. There we go. And I guess someone has to be moving through here. Oh, that didn't, didn't work. Is that a re oh, oh, Jesus. So this is once again a river crossing. Those, those really start to piss me off. Uh, I guess that's, that really didn't look like something we should lose so pathetically, but yeah, really cursing again. Uh, okay, so our hangar is ours, Murmansk is ours, almost ours, uh, 95%, not quite, not quite. Are they moving into this? Nope. I think the AI is uh, pretty bad at uh, dealing with the, those kinds of, let's call them, encirclements. Uh, well, those, you know, spaghetti advances, because... Uh, well, the thing is that if you are doing, uh, doing them, you have basically won already, so I guess it's not that big of an issue, unless you, you know, are really trying to exploit something or whatnot, but... Well, to, to be well, it may look bad that they are just standing around, but that's uh, because the, well, the same reason why they, they weren't attacking here when the Germans were, and when German, Germans went away, they they actually uh, performed the attacks. So that, that that's because um, they just uh, seen the uh, force balance as too much uh, in. Of a disadvantage uh, at the time, so that's that's the reason. And well, when when the force balanced uh, balance changed, they uh, got uh, better at it. Uh, well, they got more more aggressive. That's what I mean. There we go. Oh, look at that! We we colored a lake mm -hmm. yellow. Uh, p p I don't know what I want with you. Is there anything worthwhile? Probably not. Probably uh, gonna just close that up. And of course, the so problem is like that this whole thing will spread and get all weird uh, in a sec. Okay. Okay, we can definitely finish them off. How are the losses? Uh, over 3 million right now. Not bad. And there is an idle mm, tank division. But I think we can say, ah, geez. Cross the river first, will you? 
on this stop and yes cross the river first thank you um moving in here but not sure if we'll be able to do anything uh, to grab that province and all right I'll just assign you here for no for no good reason. Okay, so we grabbed this province. Uh, how are we on that? 98%. <laughs> and okay, so that wasn't enough. I guess let's uh, grab some territory that is okay. Let's grab here. So those are planes, yes. Rather not grab marches if I can help it, but it's well, it's probably faster than sending uh, this division down south to do the same thing. There we go. Well, uh, as far as uh, if you know, uh, our goals and actually winning the war, I think it was in mid-August um, when we uh, conquered Moscow and so on and so forth and went into a, you know, extensive uh, attacks versus, you know, just a land-grabbing mode. So, not bad at all, I would say. And now we forced another, well, 30,000. 300,000 to surrender, so not, not terrible. Mountain destroy. All right, so that was another level of uh, air research right there. Uh, well, I just start working on that, I guess. I don't want to uh, keep an eye on that anymore. And of course, as you can see, all of that got messed up perfectly. And by perfect, I mean awfully. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so can we please grab this lone victory point? And this is what? Uh, one again. Um, Almost there, almost there. There's a few hundred provinces. And please don't take a fucking colony, will you? 99%. Almost there. <laughs> and we are at 30 minutes mark as well, so... Let's start... Uh, okay, they started attacking in here, but sadly not quite there yet. Um, so as a summary... Uh, I think, well, uh, mass of very good infantry with uh, bonuses uh, such as those. Uh, well, we mostly used the, 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 the one bonus at first, but uh, uh, really, I think, really good uh, all around infantry that we were able to use in, uh, in the mountains to uh, cross through here, and uh, that was actually a fairly useful thing because, uh, well, uh, we secured oil, and oh, I think. That's it. And there we have it. And why is it not so... Okay, so <laughs> apparently we need to conquer Xinjiang before, because they somehow became a major power right now. Um... <laughs> All right, we are of course not going to do that. Basically, what you want for this uh, for this achievement, I will do that like at some point to just get the get the achievement, I think. But we just need to uh, hold on to the Moscow uh, till the end of the year, right? Uh, well, till the end of the next year. So first thing you do during the press conference is you take Moscow because uh, well, you don't want Germany to suddenly want to 
they change their government into fascists and so on and so forth. So you just take Moscow and uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, if we look, well, the benefit of this is that we actually can take a look at uh, losses and so on. Uh, so uh, we've suffered a few more. I, I think we were around the same amount uh, with uh, with Germany when the actual fighting was still going on. So, and there were uh, probably a few more million. Uh, I think that they had like a million or two in the field as, uh, uh, at some point. If I if I looked at it right before, well, you can just you know uh, get uh, you know get video back up uh, in a few minutes and you will see me looking at it that the fielded manpower I think was about 2 million so they, they still have a little bit in the field but well, clearly not enough to, uh, to, 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 to stop us and yeah not good I, I mean we it shows that we have 117 divisions but uh, only 88 of those are actual combat divisions, so yeah, we went with uh, s strong ones rather than uh, and, and, and numerous ones or, uh, you know, ch cheap ones in, in, in that case. Uh, there was a, uh, if you remember, plan to actually in include uh, anti-air, but we, uh, and that was uh, we would have gone for if not for the, uh, the Soviet attack, uh, but well, we uh, actually managed to, to control the uh, uh, the airspace uh, for the, for the most part without much uh, much of an issue just using our air force and if we take a look at what we had uh, 800 uh, close air support and 700 fighters in the uh, in the air and I believe uh, by now we probably have some some spare well, not much as you can see. Uh, it's mostly that uh, those interwar fighters that we've uh, pressed into service initially uh, and got, got replaced with, with with the new stuff. And uh, well, we have uh, so if we were desperate, we could probably field another hundred uh, fighters, and we do have another hundred uh, close air support. Uh, so yeah, it went pretty nicely, uh, I would say. Uh, yeah, and uh, I wasn't sure. So we only had what nine divisions of uh, in 1980 of uh, 1939, uh, 36 uh, light tanks. But as you can see, it's uh, less about you know how powerful, the, and we weren't even able to add uh, self-propelled uh, artillery because well it was too late for that. So, but yeah, with. Uh, Little bit and, uh, of, of piercing from uh, from that and uh, from from you know support anti tank additional um, light uh, soft damage from support artillery all of that that I, I think you've seen that they weren't you know pushing through amazingly well but uh, well well enough against the infantry we were fighting so uh, definitely like. I think uh, the 1936 uh, tanks are perfectly good, as I mentioned several times, perfectly enough to win World War II and as any nation, really. So, uh, the, going for mediums or heavy, so especially, you know, uh, for 30, 41 light tanks is, is, is a valid project, really. And, or like, you know, want to check out different things, but yeah. Uh, definitely not something you you need to to to, to succeed. I, I guess uh, it it would if we were playing with maxed out sliders. Then uh, yes, then you would need uh, some some better firepower or and and or better numbers. Probably firepower in case of in, in case of Romania because you wouldn't be able to to field like fifty uh, tank divisions to to fight their well. Soviet Union would have probably like 200 tank divisions and so on, and uh, you know, over a good thousand or so of infantry divisions, like we've seen in uh, in our other playthroughs. Uh, like, well, as Soviet Union, how many divisions the Germans had? Uh, Germans had. So yeah, and uh, as you can see here, Minsk uh, after the capitulation, since it was controlled by them, went. 
to to the Germans, despite the fact that only I think Minsk and this province, perhaps this one as well, were uh, were actually controlled by by Germany. Uh, so yeah, uh, something like that. I will do more testing regarding uh, how you know who controls what province, but I think it was. Uh, and the, the the idea that it depends on uh, who controls the, the provinces next to is a, is a decent lead. Uh, though I seem to vaguely remember that in our uh, Canadian playthroughs right here, when we were fighting in China, they had, there has been some weird things happening uh, with who controls what. So uh, I think uh, the French was basically getting a lot of that territory from the uh, from the ja from Japan, and yeah, it it, it, it was fairly weird. So uh, I, I will have to do more testing. Now uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, Romanian series, and if you did, um, subscribe because there will be uh, more Hearts of Iron Four series and pubs. Even more for the other games I haven't really put much on in that regard on the channel, but well, there will be more of different things, but not uh, perhaps not quite tomorrow, since as I mentioned in the last uh, two or three episodes, I've been extremely busy. But yeah, there's more coming, and of course there is uh, uh, quite a lot already on the channel. Uh, some it's it may be. Uh, in some, to some extent outdated, but well, general principles uh, still apply. And if you you know uh, apply like you need to uh, build infrastructure, and you cannot uh, switch the war economy uh, before fifteen percent for tension, the, the rest is pretty much uh, pretty much the same. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope to see you next time. Cheers.